Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we look at colours, there's kind of two things going on that determines the brightness of the colour. One is the computer which sets the colours here, for example, from 0 to 255, and these are all right up at 255 or 100%. The other is your eye and your brain. And because what the eye and brain do is, is they see yellow as being the lightest colour and blue as the darkest colour and the others in between. So sometimes when we've got a picture, we may want to turn down those bright colours. Um, not necessarily the white and black, those are okay, but just the colours. How do we do that? And a way to do that is to ask Affinity Photo to help us. And we can do this if I hit Control J to duplicate a layer and then go up to Vibrance. When I turn this down now, what I've got here, and I merge that back in, is I've got a map here which is telling me that the eye sees yellow as the lightest colour and it sees blue as the darkest colour. So we can use this as a mask. So for example now, if I put in an HSL layer, and it's got under that one there, I've got a bit the wrong way around, let's drag that up there. This one here, the black and white layer, I'll right click that and rasterize to mask. So I can now drag that up to the mask position here. And that is now masking that HSL. So now if I turn the HSL down here, it's going to change them differently. So that all the way down, look, blue is still there, but it turned yellow all the way down. So I can find a balance point there where they're all pretty much the similar sort of brightness. So this gives me a way of controlling how bright the colours are and the perceptual change. In other words, I can flattening that perceptual brightness of colours. What I can also do is the other way around, I can go to that mask, hit Control i to invert it. And now this works the other way around. So now when you work on colours, you're affecting things like the blues and so on rather than the yellows. And sometimes you want one and sometimes you want the other. But you can use both at once. You can have two of them. So let's go to a real picture and have a go at it here. And, and now I'm going to give you a shortcut of way of doing this really quickly. You could do it like we did just now. But now if I hit Control and Alt, hold down Control and Alt and click on the icon here, it selects, but it selects using that perceptual format. So it's now selected things like yellows more and blues less. So now I want to put in a, let's say an HSL layer. Control U is the shortcut for an HSL. So I hit Control U and there we got an HSL with that mask on it. I can hit then Control D to get rid of the marching ants. And I can now play with the colours here. And I can hit Control i to invert the mask and play with the colours differently. So I can go the other way around. And it, it, either way, if I'm going to flatten colours, all I need to do is go to a point where they're all about the same. So I can do it by going upwards, I can do it by going downwards. But now if I want to do some additional control, what I want to do is put in another HSL layer but without a mask on it. And then I'm going to drag this up here. And now with this one, I can do an overall control like this. But I can also pick things going, you know what, the reds are still a little bit too red. So I'll select the red here and I'll take those reds down separately as well. So that gives me a further control. So there, there is a way of flattening colours uh, and controlling them individually uh, so that they're based on how we perceive them, not how the computer represents them. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.